How's it going everybody? Jack Fleming here. Thanks for clicking on another one of my watercolor road trip videos. Um, this one's going to be a fun one. Uh, if you're not familiar with these little watercolor road trip videos, kind of the concept behind it started with me just doing little sketches, watercolor sketches, sitting on street corners and stuff in the towns around me. Uh, I live in Granbury, Texas, which is got a little bit of tourism and stuff to it. Uh, older town, kind of known for its Texas history, I guess. And other little towns around me, such as Cleburne and Toller and towns like that, are all kind of small and have their own little charm. And I enjoy kind of going around and doing watercolors of those and really liked it. Um, always enjoyed road trips and finding new places, kind of discovering the history of places. I love architecture and stuff from the 1800s, early 1900s. So it kind of grew into me going and finding more little towns and stuff to paint in to where at this point I'm trying if I can to get out at least once a week and go and discover a new place, do a little painting of it, and hopefully bring those to you guys through the forms of these videos here and also paintings being hung in different places. This trip, I actually did, I think, three watercolors in one day. Um, some of these videos here, I, I talk about tips and stuff for painting, different art techniques and stuff like that. But this, this particular video, I thought it'd be kind of neat to talk a little bit more about the towns and the, the trips themselves. Uh, Graham turned out to be a really cool trip. Took me a little longer than it probably would most people to drive up there. Most people that I know of that go up to Graham are usually headed up to Possum Kingdom Lake. Um, great little lake, been sailing on it and stuff before, and boating, uh, fishing, all that. Kind of bring some of the tourism and stuff up that way. I don't know exactly how Graham got started, but whenever I was there, there is a lot of history in the town. Um, there's museums and stuff on the square, which they boast as having uh, the largest town square in the country, and it's really, really big. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. I haven't been in a town square like that. Uh, walking around it took a little bit of time but it was really fascinating for me being interested in signs and, you know hand-painted signs and murals and stuff there's a few murals around the town there uh, a couple of old wall signs and stuff there's a really neat old uh, seven up sign on one of the walls and if you're into sign painting and stuff and kind of nerd out on that there's a bunch of old hand lettered you know address numbers and stuff that i've never seen letter styles and stuff for uh on some of the buildings just kind of neat a couple of highlights whenever i was there um i, I usually drive around whenever i go to a town see what all i can see of the town before i kind of find a place to park and go walk around and try and find something to paint while driving around in Graham, uh, one of the really neat buildings that I found was an old Coca-Cola building. And if you get an opportunity to go to Graham, it's not on the square. It's a few blocks away from the square there, but uh, just really interesting. Um, rather than having all the Coca-Cola signage and stuff painted on the buildings, like I've seen a lot of times, there's actually a stonework that was really neat with the Coke logo and stuff in it. I think some other really cool things that happened while I was there, uh, after I parked, was walking around, I found the old post office, which is actually in the center of the square, uh, across the street from the courthouse. They have another road that runs through the middle of their square, first town I've been in like that. Uh, but one side's the courthouse, one side had the post office, there's a whole bunch of other stuff inside the square. But the old post office to me was really neat, um, they've turned it into a museum. And inside, from what I understand, it's normally an art museum. But all the art wasn't in there at the moment. They had display cases up at the front. And they actually had one of the old uh, murals that they did in the post offices during the... Uh, gosh, I can't remember the name of it, but I think it was Works WPA. I don't remember what, exactly what it stands for. It was during that time period. Um, 
but it was kind of neat the lady that was in there uh you could tell that she hadn't had very many visitors for the day and wanted to get up and walk around so she gave me the grand tour uh in the very back there is a wall that you don't see from the front um but it's covered with old photos and stuff in the area too so if you're into history and stuff there's a lot of really neat old photos of the area there and kind of a cool thing to see a few other things i guess in the painting here you can see uh the tower building is an old theater and i went inside of it it's a thrift store now but you can walk around you know and all the floors kind of oh they lose elevation i don't know what the right word would be for that but as they go towards the back you know towards where the stage would have been which is kind of neat Right next door to that, though, in my painting, you see the little brown rectangle with the tree in front of it. Uh, that building is a bookstore, and I love going in old bookstores and stuff. Um, don't see a whole lot of bookstores these days. It seems like the ones that I do find are kind of thriving. Seems like they're making a comeback. But this one was a little bit different than the other ones I've been in. They had a huge collection of books about Texas history, places in Texas. Um, really, really kind of neat collection that was in there. Lots of stuff to find in that. I'll tell you one of the things, and I've mentioned it in other videos that I've started doing uh, since gas prices have gotten a little bit higher. I, I was going out and doing one video at a time sit there and draw and paint on the spot and make one little painting and since gas prices have gone up what i've started doing is going and hitting multiple towns at once and i'll sit on the streets and stuff and sketch the, the actual sketch for these in person but i am bringing them back to the studio to do the watercolors anyhow uh, this allows me to hit multiple towns in one day so on the way up to graham i came across another little town and there's a another video where I show the watercolor that I did of it um, but I did one little watercolor there really small little town and as I was leaving Graham and going to I actually ended up going to two other towns that day uh, headed out of town I noticed the old drive-in movie really neat because the way that the drive-in movie sits there looked like there was parked area back behind it you know we could have picnic tables and nice trees maybe do some barbecuing or something like that seemed to me like it'd be a neat place for a car show or something uh based off the photos that i saw when i was inside the museum that was in the post office there i discovered a couple of other little towns that i wanted to try and find and see if there was anything worth painting in and it's kind of one of the things that happens on these trips sometimes i'll go to a few towns and stuff and walk around and it may not be that there's nothing at all to paint there but there's just nothing that seems to catch my eye or sometimes some of these towns you come to and there's really nothing left of the town that happened to be the case here i found one little town that seemed interesting uh, there was maybe two old buildings left and then a little park that had an original cabin in it i cannot remember the name of the town right now but it just happened to be that the lighting was really kind of bad at that time of day there. So I ended up moving on. Maybe I'll come back at another time. And I think the cabin there might be interesting to paint. I went to another town that a friend of mine had told me about. Um, it was a town near where she grew up. I think she said her grandparents had a house in it. And she mentioned a couple of buildings that were there that she remembered. She couldn't say whether or not they'd still be there and whenever I got to that town there was nothing left of the town there was I think two gas stations they look like they might have been built in the 80s or something like that that haven't been in use in a really long time uh, there was one church there and that was it there really wasn't any other buildings except for a couple of houses so moved along and went to yet another town same day and you know all kind of in the area of Graham and it was really neat while driving around and, and looking for stuff to paint you know I mentioned the drive-in movie that was in Graham uh, going into another town uh, looking for something to paint 
on the way there, kind of out in the middle of nowhere, I found another old drive-in movie. Um, this one, you know, not in operation. Uh, somebody was using the grounds for it to store things. It was kind of kind of neat. And the town that I went to after that one, again, I walked all over the square and stuff there, and there were some neat buildings, but just nothing caught my eye for that time to draw. However, I did find two more towns that afternoon that uh, I did do some sketches in and have some videos coming up. I think the next one that I have lined up here to make sure you guys came from the same day, and that was from a sketch that I did in Weatherford. I wanted to mention a, another building actually that was in Graham that was a really neat one that I got to go inside. I was driving around, you know, looking for different stuff to paint, and I saw a really fascinating building with really neat looking ghost sign on the side of it. And it turned out that it was the jail. Um, I, I come to find out that there was many different jails from different time periods and stuff in Graham. All of them seemed to be right there around the square. This one was one from the late 1800s, and it's been turned into an antique mall, basically. So you can go inside of it and walk around and everything. Uh, didn't really see any like cells or anything left. The architecture in and of itself was really, really cool. Big building. Surprisingly big to be a, a jailhouse for these towns. Usually I see rather small buildings and stuff that are really close to the courthouse or about a block away. But this one was... Uh, I guess it was still about a block away, but it wasn't directly on the square. It was off. Just kind of a neat thing to, to go and look at. I have hope and do hope in doing these watercolor videos and stuff, but maybe they inspire somebody to get out, go see what's around them. Um, that's really a, a big portion of these. I, I love watercolors. I know a lot of people, or not watercolors, excuse me, road trips. <laughs> I know a lot of people that uh, don't ever really seem to get out and do road trips, or some people that do, and they're out looking for different stuff. Some people are into to drawing and painting on stuff like this, or maybe photography, or none of those things. Maybe they just like to go find new places, find places to eat, go shopping or something like that. All these little towns offer stuff like that. And for the most part, all the little businesses and stuff that are on these town squares are all privately owned businesses and, and, and they survive off of people coming to them frequently frequenting their vi businesses um i don't know maybe in doing these it'll bring some business to somebody in some town somewhere only kind of hope right it's actually another little part of these road trip watercolor road trip deals for me is while I'm out, I always like to try and go and find another neat little place to eat that I've never eaten at before. Um, sometimes I've come across some really great places and really small towns that I would never think of. Actually, the best pizza that I've ever had uh, in Texas was in probably one of the smallest towns that I've been in in Texas. Uh, just come across things like that. I have another video on my YouTube channel here of one of these watercolors that the little restaurant that I hope to go back to because it wasn't open when I was there but it actually wasn't in a town it was kind of near Heiko Texas and uh, it was made out of a little school bus sitting in a field it's all sorts of neat things out there on the roadsides um, a really cool place that I've come across on one of these trips that had one of the best sandwiches that I've had in Texas Again, y'all just need to get out and discover things. As you do, let me know. You know, I'd love to maybe either come to your town or go to some place that might be a favorite of yours and see if I can't find something to paint or draw. A lot of times, these towns that I go to come from suggestions from either viewers on here or people on Facebook or Instagram. It's kind of neat to share. There's some other people out there too that I've gotten ideas from to go out and take photographs and stuff of some of the cool towns and what's left of them. So, some neat resources. Hope y'all are enjoying this. This is kind of the end of it here where I'm peeling the tape back. Uh, most of these, actually just about all of them, I get framed. I have several of them actually hanging for sale right now in a gallery in Cleburne, Texas. I've got about 12 more than I'm about ready to get framed. Hopefully have those up for sale soon too. 
my website should be up soon and hopefully I'll have those on there. All right, thank you for watching. Please hit subscribe if you'd like to see more paintings like the one we did here today of Graham, Texas. Um, I do have a couple more that are already lined up and ready to be worked on here from sketches I did on the road. And there are videos of other paintings that I've done from other small towns and roadside attractions here in Texas. If you like this kind of stuff, please click on one of the videos up here and we'll see you next time. Have a good day.